Uh, now I shall explain insulin potentiated chemotherapy in a, in a short way. As you know, <coughs> insulin is a hormone which uh, lowers, which decreases blood glucose levels. So uh, in this treatment, we benefit from the action of insulin, uh, which uh, increases the efficacy of chemotherapeutic agents when administered together. Uh, let us summarize the way of doing the test. We give an insulin shot, then the blood glucose level falls to 50 milligram percent. At that level, the cancer cells become hypoglycemic and they try to find glucose around the capillaries. At that time, exact time, we give the, uh, the, an injection, an infusion of dextrose, which contains also the chemotherapeutic cytotoxic agents. And then the cancer cells uh, being opened by insulin accept dextrose together with blood uh, the chemotherapeutic agents because as we know usually uh, cancer cells uh, know know the chemotherapeutic agents when you give a first injection of cytotoxic agents you kill some fraction of the cancer cells but the remaining cells know learn this uh, cytotoxic agents. So the second time you give the, the same agents, the blood, the, the cancer cells close their uh, openings, their uh, holes, and uh, the chemotherapeutic agents cannot enter the cancer cells, but they go around to other normal cells, and so the side effects are uh, many, many side effects. So in here, what we are doing is by giving insulin, we uh, make the cancer cells permeable to cytotoxic agents. In this way, the efficacy increases and the side effects diminish. So uh, according um, to the type of cancer and to the stage of cancer, we can change the cytotoxic agent's composition. We can prepare different cocktails for different cancers and when hypoglycemia is obtained, we give these injections and uh, the patient tolerates this treatment very well because the dosage of the, the drugs are maybe one-fourth uh, of the usual uh, permitted doses.